one more of subtlety to train an awareness to connect what we see from Earth versus what could be seen from space, from a spaceship. What can be seen from space tells us what's really going on. What we see is because of what's really going on. But we don't see what's really going on. We don't see us going around the sun. We don't see us spinning, right? So that's tricky. It's not ordinary. Even if you know the answers, you just heard it. You accepted it. Now we're doing moon phase. So moon phase. A moon cycle. It's approximately a month, or I like to say a moon. Uh, but let's get a little more into it. What have we got? We've got a phase cycle. Chapter one. Again, seen from Earth is chapter one. What you notice, you know these phases. What's that phase? Is that all lit or not lit? It's not lit. Remember that when we draw it, moon phase, we're gonna draw a full circle and we're gonna draw the terminator and shade the not lit or the dark side, if you will. So not lit, of course, is what we call new. And then we go all lit, which is full. And we go back to new, one phase cycle. And you tell me, what's it doing as it appears more and more lit? What's the word? It's a fancy word for appearing more and more lit. That's right, waxing. It'll be waxing for about how many days? Approximately how many days? About 14 days, right? I like to think of it in terms of weeks. So I'm gonna go, eh, two weeks. And then once it's all full, it can't appear more full, so it's gonna appear less and less lit. And so we call that, what? Waning. You don't have to draw it like that, but make sure you get distinguish X and N. Waning, or about, eh, 14 days, every day changing slightly. Eh, so about two more weeks. That's how we roughed it out in chapter one, but really, that takes more. 29.5 days. So our 28 days, not quite right, but it's good enough, right, to remember it and to start with, so we can be picky about it. It's, a, it's about a month, about a month, but, but not quite. And so it's, it's not really clockwork. It's not a perfect synchronization. And the orbit rate of the moon has changed and is changing. What's going on? Ah, oh, I showed you. What's really happening to give a moon phase? Why? Why does the moon appear more or less lit? What's going on? And of course, you know the answer. Moon orbits Earth once. Moon orbits Earth once. We call it a sidereal period or length of time, but that's parenthetical, don't sweat that. And how long does that take? Let's just write this down and then, then explore why. So how long does that take? That takes about, easy to remember would be 27.5 days. I want to be picky, you can say 27.3 days if you like. This is kind of nice because the average between those two, you can see the midway point between those two, is 28 days back to our four weeks that we use. There's nothing magical about that, but you know, it's kind of nice and it's not exact, but it's, it's pretty good. So it takes less time to orbit once than to go through a phase cycle. Why? Let's take a look. Let's see from space. You're not seeing from Earth, right? Seeing from Earth would be you a little smaller than an ant, much smaller. 
It's a microorganism. Here. Okay. Is that correct? Where's the light coming from? The light bulb in space, right? Sun, 93 million miles away. 1 AU. Astronomical unit. Let me see how. Hmm. All right, not too bad. So the light's coming from here. So where would the terminator be? Is that correct? Is that correct? No, the light. Oh, no, I shade the dark side. That's it, right? That's it. This is a what view? A side view with North Pole, South Pole, like that. Okay. And I can show you a top view as well. A top view would be like this. Okay. That's kind of nice because you can really see it orbiting. Now remember, as it orbits, and of course sun is way, way far away. Sunlight's just streaming in here. I might draw it here, but we know it's far away. And as moon orbits, whatever side of moon is facing sun will be lit. Don't worry about it spinning yet until the end of the chapter. And as it orbits us, whatever side is facing, the sun is lit. Don't worry about shadows yet either. We'll get to that after we do moon phases. Whatever side is facing, the sun is lit. So too with Earth. Now we know Earth does spin, so if our side is facing sun, we're having day. And then if we spin out of the light, we're having night. So that's a basic idea to help us understand this. So tell me. What does an Earthling see from space? You're an alien, so uh, what does an Earthling see from space? They see the side that faces them, which is the not lit side, which is new. And it takes about a week, two weeks, three weeks, third quarter, four weeks. One week, one quarter of a cycle, first quarter, two weeks, ah, Look at the side facing Earth. It's the lit side again. Don't worry about those shadows. We'll talk about that when we talk about eclipses again. So full and new. Now, most of our ancestors looked up at new moons and had names for them. And you can use a lunar calendar and stuff. It gets a little bit out of whack with a solar calendar. And the solar calendar really uh, controls the, the seasons. And so we've got a new, and then to orbit back, a new. So one orbit, you'd go from new to new, except Earth is orbiting the sun and carrying its moon with it. So let's take a look and see what that, why there's a difference here. Go to the text on your spaceship. Take a look over here and take a look. What have we got? All right. The side facing Earth is the side close to Earth, always. The side facing you is the side close to you. Now it's my right shoulder, now it's here. Now it's my left shoulder. So you see the side facing you. So too, from Earth, we see the side of Moon facing us. We call it the near side. And so from Earth, Earth would have a terminator too, wouldn't it? Have a night side and a light side. Why? Because that's a big old light bulb with a lot of watts, a lot of luminosity. That side is facing Earth. That clearly is a new Moon. Okay, don't worry about Moon's shadow either. We'll talk about that. So, if Moon were to orbit, You'd have new to new, one orbit would be one moon phase, except sun, or excuse me, Earth is moving. Now, I didn't illustrate this very well in the next edition, but it will be. That's Earth, that's moon. You can see that moon would be a new moon, because that would be the not lit, and that would be the lit. So to go around once is to go around halfway and then again. So from here to here is going around once. But now, because we've orbited, 
We've gone around once in about 27 and a half days, but it's not new yet until it's lined up with sun another couple of days. One orbit, one phase cycle. Okay, that's all there is to it, but it again trains a way of thinking. And that ends your two meanings and your training for how to think about this stuff, uh, both connecting what we see from Earth and what we see from space. And now we're going to answer why do we have these seasons, sun, changing where it rises and sets and how long the day is. Why and why do we see moon phases and when does each phase rise approximately? Those are challenges in the next videos and of course in the text. All right, cheers, practice, do the exercises, see the solutions and good luck.